What's going on YouTube? It's Devin from Beast Aesthetics and today I wanted to talk to you guys about my predictions on the placings for the 2014 Mr. Olympia. Now for all you guys who do not follow the Mr. O, Phil Heath has been the reigning champ for the past three years. Back in 2011 he took the crown from Jay Cutler. I believe Kai Green got third place that year. Now in 2012 many people including myself believe that Kai Green should have won the Mr. Olympia. I personally believe Kai had better conditioning and had more mass than Phil Heath. But Phil Heath definitely had more of a 3D look and has slightly better proportions than Kai Green. Kai has two weak, weak areas in my opinion. His traps and his forearms are not in proportion to his upper back and his biceps and triceps. But in this recent photo that you guys see here, this was taken just a few days ago right around a week out his traps have definitely improved and as you guys can see his back is looking bigger than ever and the conditioning of his back is insane for one week out look at the cross striations and the vascularity in his lower back that is insane this is not even a high quality photo and you can see just unbelievable conditioning already at one week out and the size is there he did not lose any size this cut for the prep for 2014 for the Mr. Olympia so we are possibly going to see a bigger and leaner version of Kai Green at this year's Mr. Olympia and if Phil Heath is off his A game Kai Green could possibly win the Mr. O as you guys can see here though in 2013 two areas that I pointed out his traps and his forearms are not in proportion to his quads, shoulders, biceps, and triceps and chest. Um, but he has improved definitely in his traps. So once again, if he comes in bigger and leaner than Phil Heath, and if Phil Heath is off his A game, Kai Green could possibly win the Mr. O this year. Here's a photo of the top three, Phil Heath, the winner in the middle, Kai the runner up and Dennis Wolf at third place and guys I do not know how Dennis Wolf placed third look at his calves his left calf does not even exist you know no disrespect to the big wolf but I think Sean Roden should have placed third and Dennis should have placed probably fifth um, you know once again here's a great photo his legs look great but they are way behind in size and proportions to his upper body Wolf has the upper body of a Mr. Olympia all day without a doubt, but his legs, especially his calves, are nowhere near in proportion to his upper body. And I know a lot of people hate on me for talking about his calves, but guys, this is the best of the best in the world, okay? So if anything is off, it should be a big deal when you're in the top five best bodybuilders on the planet of Earth. And um, here's one last picture. Once again, his upper back shoulders are some of the craziest muscle dense density you will ever see on any bodybuilder period but his legs are just behind and that's probably just because of genetics guys he trains his legs hard i'm sure but you know being five foot eleven and um having you know just better genetics for upper body size is just gonna hold you back from ever winning the mr olympia crown here's a good photo comparison of sean Rode on the left and dennis wolf on the right now, I'm not saying Sean Roden is a bigger bodybuilder. I'm saying Sean Roden is a better bodybuilder in terms of aesthetics, proportions, and symmetry. Without a doubt, Sean Roden in this photo is a better bodybuilder. Not bigger, but better. And this is why I believe Sean Roden will beat Dennis Wolf this year. Because Sean Roden has been putting on size. So he's catching up to Dennis Wolf in the size department, and he's just got better aesthetics proportions and symmetry and then even in this photo his conditioning is better than dennis wolf's so my prediction for third and fourth place this year is going to be if sean roden comes in bigger with the same conditioning that he uh, had last year i think he will get third place but it's going to be close because rumors around have been saying that dexter jackson former mr olympia is bigger than ever at 45 years old okay so Dexter is 45 and apparently is bigger than ever so it's gonna be close if 
both these guys have put on size and their conditioning is on point. But I believe Sean Roden will just edge out Dexter Jackson for third place. So what I'm predicting this year, it's going to be Phil Heath. Because personally, I think if Phil Heath is on his A game, I don't think Kai really has a chance of beating him due to somewhat politics. But if Kai is on point and is bigger and leaner than Phil Heath, and if Phil Heath is off, Phil could lose the crown. So I'm going to guess it's Phil right now, then Kai at second, at a close second. And then third place, I'm going to predict Sean Roden. Fourth place, I'm going to predict Dexter the Blade Jackson. And at fifth place, I'm going to say it's going to be Dennis Wolf. Now, sixth place, it's most likely going to be Big Ramy. Um, I don't think Big Ramy is going to out-edge Dennis Wolf um, just yet. I don't think Big Ramy has the years of conditioning and graininess, the hard look that Dennis Wolf has. Um, but I believe it will be a close fifth, sixth place. So Phil Heath first, Kai Green second, Sean Roden third, Dexter the Blade Jackson fourth, Dennis Big Bad Wolf fifth, and then Big Ramy sixth. After that, guys, it's probably going to be Jay Cutler, um, Branch Warren should be in there, maybe Tony Freeman, and a few other guys, maybe um, Evan Senapani. Who knows, guys? But those are my predictions for the top six. Guys, what are yours? Please post them down below. I would like to hear your feedback. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next video.